Hey Yogi, welcome to class. If you're new to the channel, I'm Ree, this is Drake, and if you are returning, welcome back. It is lovely to have you back with us for this Mellow Flow practice on YouTube. Um, I've got a bolster today, and as you can see, a blanket. Any blanket will do, and it's not essential, it's just so that we've got a little bit of cushion on the knees. Um, so I've got that. Um, the bolster could be swapped out for, um, you know, cushions and stuff. And it's not essential, like it's not a yin practice where you need the props. Um, so grab your stuff. I'm just going to move Drake and then meet me back on the mat, sitting on the blanket on the shins. Okay, so your blanket's open. Come onto your shins and then take your knees nice and wide. Have your big toes touching, perhaps. And then if you do have a bolster or you've grabbed some, you know, something else, um, I'm just going to pop that in between the legs so that I can lie onto it and have a really nice supported child's pose. So um, if I was to do this, I would take the, the forehead to the bolster or maybe you know, one side or another, um, but I'm not going to do that because of my mic. So set yourself up however feels nice. You know, and you might need a lot of height here um, if you don't usually kind of go deep into child's pose, and that's totally cool. Just build up your support as much as you can, and if you've not got any props, then you're just coming into a regular child's pose, balasana. Allow yourself to settle in here and, you know, maybe you can take the arms in front or maybe you want to take them behind. Hmm. Just finding a little some comfort here in this small shape, this very inward facing shape, I guess. Bringing all your attention inward and just settling in. As you inhale, imagine that that is running up the back chain of the body. And as you exhale, imagine it's going out the front of the body and you sink the body a little bit deeper into the child's pose. really softly start to come off the bolster and just move that to the side for now. I'm not going to use that for the moment. Then bring the knees um, so that they're closer together and that you're on your blanket still. And then we're just going to start to move a little bit through the spine, move through the low body. So inhale, reach your arms up, look up, your drishti is to your fingers. As you exhale, open up, arms to the right. So you're twisting to the right, right arm behind you, left arm in front. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, take the other side. So left arm behind you, right arm in front, drishti to the back hand. Inhale up, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale up the middle, look up. Exhale, hands through the center line. This time as we inhale, we're gonna lift up. Exhale, open to the right. Right arm behind you, left arm in front. Inhale up. Open to the left. Inhale up. Open to the right. Inhale up. Open to the left. Nice, up again. Beautiful, bring the hands through to the center. Then from here, make sure you've got some space out in front of you. You're gonna lean into that left shin. See if you can bring your right knee into your chest. Little bit of a balance challenge right early on. And then gently see if you can plant the right toes top of the mat and bend your right knee deeply. And you can use your right forearm on your right thigh here to just encourage you to go a little bit deeper. 
finding this sort of like pulsing and Jinyasana, if you like. Nice. Then bring the hands down to the mat and work to come into a half split here. So just work into straighten and it's super early on. So, you know, maybe like me, you've got a little bend in the knee, but we're working to straighten so that we've got full compression from the top of the thigh to the low belly. Lift your collarbones, look ahead, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, re-bend that right knee. Come up into a more traditional low lunge here. So send the hips forward, lean back with the chest, lean the fingers back. You could even point the thumbs backwards here. Nice. And then come up. See if you can drive that right knee in towards you just for a moment. Gently plant the right knee back. <laughs> Nice, we'll go the other way. First, we'll flush that out. Inhale, lift up, look up. This time on your exhale, cactus your arms. Inhale, lift up. Exhale to cactus. Inhale, hands through to the center. Lean into your right shin. See if you can bring your left knee in towards you. Just a little bit of challenge here. And then gently plant left toes top of the mat and then again you're going to use the left forearm to just work into that left thigh trying to really find space here in this low lunge nice then come all the way in plant the fingertips outside of the foot and slowly pull back your left leg you can have the toes pulling back towards the shins but again we want to keep that connection so i've got my low belly touching my left thigh is here on my left thigh not multiple <laughs> lift the collarbones really drive down to the left heel and pull it back ardha hanamanasana nice rebend the left knee plant the left foot inhale traditional anjaneyasana maybe taking you know, your arms really nice and far back here, out of your vision. Nice. Exhale. Come back to center. See if you can lift the foot. Gently bring that left knee back under you. Nice. Inhale. Sweep your arms up. Exhale. Cactus. Lift your chest. Inhale, come back to neutral, but keep the cactus. Exhale, turn to the right. Inhale to the center. Exhale to the left. Inhale to center. Exhale to the right. Inhale back to center. Exhale to the left. Inhale to center. Reach your arms up. Exhale, hands through the center line. Nice. From here, sit back to your heels. Lean forward, so you're kind of coming into a half vinyasa. And then lift your hips off your heels. Plant your forearms down. Pull your arms through your body and come into a gentle up dog. Drop your knees, puff through the shoulders, chin to chest, tuck the tailbone, come back to child's pose. Lift your hips off your child's pose, look forward, drop your forearms. As you inhale, come through your arms with your body, find Urdhva Mukha Svanasana, up dog. You can keep the knees down all times if you like. Drop the knees, start to tuck chin to chest, start to tuck the tailbone. Come into a cat-like pose as you move into child's pose. One more of those. So lift the hips a little bit, look forward, drop your elbows, pull your arms through your body. When your elbows are under your shoulders, you'll have to lift your arms to come into up dog. Nice. Drop your knees. Push your chin to chest as you puff through the shoulders. Tuck the tailbone. Move through a cat pose. Come back to child's pose. Nice. Walk your hands back into you. Inhale, lift up. Look up. Exhale, open to the right. 
Inhale to center, drishti to the fingers. Exhale to the left, drishti to the left hand. Inhale to the center, look up. Exhale, hands through the center line, sit the butt down. Nice, from here, take both hands behind you, not too far away from the feet. And then as you inhale, squeeze your glutes strongly, draw your shoulder blades together to lift up, bridge the hips high. Exhale to lower, inhale to rise, reach the arms up. Exhale, hands through the center line. Weight into that left shin, we're gonna go again. So right knee into the chest. It's a lot more wobbly for me this time. See if you can open up the right leg, plant the right toes, top of the mat, bend into that right knee and then sway. Maybe it's feeling a bit different, maybe it's not. <laughs> And that's fine. Nice. From here, when you're in the deep bend of the knee, frame the hands to the foot and then work to straighten through that front leg, coming into a modified split or Ardha Hanumanasana half split. Really lifting the gaze here, keeping the connection belly to thigh. Nice. Rebend the right knee. From here, bring your right hand to the inside of your right foot. Kick your left foot to the right side of your mat. Watch if you've got things there. And then reach up as you open and twist, coming into a half Pajvakanasana here. So keep sending the right knee wide. Keep turning the torso to the ceiling. And then as you exhale, keep the legs exactly as they are, but I want you to take both arms long and to the left diagonal side of the mat and sink down. So you're just getting into that right hip a little bit there. Nice. If it feels good, keep the arms kind of on the diagonal. Sit back to the heel and straighten through that right leg. Feel the stretch. Feel the stretch on the right side leg. Nice. From here, crawl your hands back towards you. Plant your left hand somewhere behind your left hip and then lift up. Send your hips to the left side of the mat. Reach your right arm up and away. Take some form of gate pose here. Really pushing through the left hand here to pick you up and out of that left shoulder. Gazes up and beyond the chest. And then exhale. Sweep it back down. Maybe you've still got this leg straight. Now you can rebend it as you crawl back. As you crawl back, swing your left foot to the middle. Nice. Inhale, Anjaneyasana, low lunge. As you exhale, plant the hands, tuck your back toes, lift the back knee, work to straighten both hips, come into a modified pyramid. So don't worry about grounding the back heel. Nice. Rebend the right knee. Plant the left um, shin and the left knee. Rise up. Nice. You've got your balance challenge. So weight is into the left leg. Squeeze your left butt. S pick up your right leg. And then gently right knee back to where you got it from. Nice. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, cactus your arms. Inhale, reach up, drishti to the fingers. Exhale, cactus. Inhale, this time to the left. Exhale to center. Inhale to the right, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Exhale to center, one more of those. Squeeze the shoulders, e inhale to the left. Exhale to the center. Squeeze the shoulders, inhale to the right. Exhale to center. Release the arms. Nice. Weight is going into this right shin. So see if you can pick that left knee, drive it into the chest, straighten the left leg, gently left foot to the mat, deeply bend in. Find this sort of swaying low lunge, finding some good depth here. <coughs> Nice. 
Nice, and then from here, plant the fingertips outside the left foot. Work to straighten through your left leg, finding that half split again. Feel free to move the left leg forward if you need to, to find a decent amount of stretch here. Flick the tailbone up to the ceiling, uh, collarbones along. Really keeping the compression here from low belly to the top of the thigh. Inhale, lift. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Nice. On the exhale, re bend that left knee. From here, come into traditional low lunge. Send the hands back, open up. Nice, exhale, plant the left hand inside the left foot. Swivel the right foot over to the left side. Reach the right arm up, taking this kind of half side angle. Keep opening up through the chest, turning the torso. Nice, inhale here. On the exhale, right hand is going to go up towards the right diagonal, so the right corner of the mat. Left hand will meet it. Feel the stretch here. So just sink as low as you can into that left kind of side, into the left knee. Crawl the fingers as far away from you as you can. Nice. And from here, we're gently going to straighten through that left leg as you come to sit back onto the right shin. You might need to open the right knee wider for this and then fall down. Feel the stretch here on this left leg. Nice. Crawl your hands into you as you inhale. As you exhale, plant the right hand somewhere behind you and pick the hips up and away. Lift up, left arm reaching behind you. Keep pushing out of that right hand this time, scooping the right shoulder blade under you so that you can really lift your chest up. Slowly come back down on the exhale. Slowly bend through that left knee to crawl you back to back to neutral top of the mat. Tuck the back toes under and then as you inhale, lift the hips high and come into a modified pyramid on this left side. Really pull the left thigh bone back into its socket here. Nice, and then re-bend that left knee, plant the right knee. Come all the way back up, and we've got that balance challenge one more time. So lift your left leg high, squeeze your right butt, and then bend the left knee. Gently bring it in towards you. Inhale, sweep it up, look up. Exhale, open up to the right. Inhale through to center, drishti to the fingers. Exhale, open up to the left. Inhale to center. Exhale, down the middle, sit the butt to the heels. Take the fingertips behind you. Inhale, lift the chest, draw your shoulder blades together. Lift the hips, lift the heart. Exhale to lower. Come into a child's pose for a moment. Inhale, as you do, lift your butt off, drop your forearms and pull yourself through to your upward facing dog. Drop the knees, chin to chest as you exhale, push through to cat. Sit all the way back to the heels. Look forward, lift the butt up, bend the elbows, drop the forearms and inhale through to your up dog. Drop your knees, chin to chest, push through your shoulder blades, round in the upper back, sit back to the heels, come into child's pose. Lift your gaze, bend your elbows as you lift your butt, drop your forearms, pull yourself into up dog. 
bend the knees, drop them, chin to chest, tuck the tailbone under, find cat pose as you push through cat, coming back to child's pose. Nice. From here, you're going to grab your bolster and we're going to finish just as we started in child's pose. So set yourself up and maybe you want to take the knees a little bit wider this time because, you know, you will be more warm uh, in the low body than you were. And then you're just gonna fold down. So I'm going to keep my head lifted, as I said, because I don't want to interfere with the mic. But let yourself relax. And options here, you could let the arms fall out, palms facing up, so you're really looking to receive some energy from the universe. You could use your hands as a pillow. You could let your head come to the mat and take your arms behind you, palms facing up. So there's all these different places where you can find a place to surrender. We've moved through our heart space a lot today opening through the chest, opening to receive. And now ground down and allow yourself to just surrender. And so you can either stay in that child's pose, which I always personally love that one with the, with the bolster, I always feel super supported. So you can stay there, or if you want to move into your Shavasana, it might feel nice to leave the bolster where it is and to turn so your butt comes towards the bolster sitting upright and then lie back onto the bolster and just let your arms fall off the side. You can do whatever you like with the legs. You could let the knees knock in. You could take the legs long. It's really your call. So I'm going to let you choose those options. Maybe you stay in that child's pose because it feels great in this moment. If that's how it feels, stay there. Stay there for as long as you can. Maybe you want a more traditional Shavasana, or maybe you want the Shavasana with the bowls to, su to support the heart opening. As always, we won't stay with you for this Shavasana. We will set you up and send you on your way into ease. As always, it's an absolute pleasure to guide you through your practice today on YouTube. I hope to see you on the mat again soon. Until we meet again, enjoy the rest of your day, Yogi. Thank you.